Hello. Hello. God, I look orange or yellowy. I don't know. Is my face? Is, what do you guys think? Is my base that far off? Uh, it might be. What the fuck? Hi. What's going on? It is Friday. It is your Friday. It is my Thursday. Because I have to work today and tomorrow. So I felt very productive. I felt very productive yesterday. I actually recorded two videos. Oh shit, I gotta get gas. Ugh. I recorded two videos and edited them. Ed 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 edited, you know, I edited them and, po ed and posted them. So, have you seen them? Yeah. One, they're both kind of rants. Uh, one is about the pervoid that, um, <laughs> that sent me, uh, dick pics. And the other one is about my Fab Fit Fun Box. That, uh, yeah, yeah. Um, I don't know. <laughs> just, I don't know. I don't know. There's so many boxes out there. I just kind of feel like some of this shit is just ridiculous. Like, yes, I do believe you get more for your mom. You definitely get more stuff. You know, the, the cost of the stuff definitely is more than what you pay for the box. Some of it is though, like I said, some of it, not so much like this. I am wearing the little star necklace I got in it, but <laughs> if you want to know my thoughts on that, watch the video. Also, if you haven't already, click subscribe. And um, if you're enjoying my videos, click like, make a comment, do something. Uh, yeah. So, anywho. God, I gotta get gas. Damn it, I forgot I had to get gas. So anyways, um, in a few weeks, it's my birthday. I'm not thrilled at all. I was really hoping to go to LA again this year for my birthday, but sadly, I am not. I am having to spend my money on like adult shit, like my, my teeth and bills and you know, whatever. So I'm trying to adult, I'm trying to be, you know, an adult here. So yeah, I am taking time off the first week of July, 4th of July week. I was going to take the entire week off, but I'm not going to. I am just going to uh, take the 4th through the 9th off. Uh, some people wanted to go out of town, and I was like, well, fuck it. I'll work Tuesday, Wednesday. That way people can go do what they want. They can do because my ass is staying here. I have no plans but to, eh, what are my plans? You know, just kind of chill, chillaxing. I'm going to be chillaxing. Yes, yes, I am. And uh, do some more uh, YouTube crap and just, I don't know. I don't know. I'm not going to lie. I'm a little, I'm a little sad. I'm a little sad. Birthdays aren't yee anymore. I just haven't had a really stellar birthday in quite a while. It just kind of sucks. You know? I don't know. I don't know. You guys are going to come get gas with me because if I pause the... Oh, I guess I need to turn... Oh, 
car off. If I pause the video, then I have to splice it together when I start videoing again. So you're coming with me. Start videoing again. Uh, people are going to think I'm crazy. Let me check my car keys. Sadly, in Atlanta, you have to make sure you lock your fucking car before you get out to get gas because motherfuckers will do slider crimes and, you know, they'll do slider crimes and steal your fucking car. Hold on, I gotta... Or they will uh, snag your purse. So, anywho. Yeah. So, yeah. Oh, shit. Okay, there we go. I can walk and do talk at the same time. Um, so, anywho, yeah, I'm just not thrilled with uh, having a birthday. Nah. I really wanted to go to LA. I miss LA really, really fucking bad. People are looking at me like I'm crazy as I am recording this. They probably think I'm FaceTiming somebody. <laughs> I'm FaceTiming you. So, anywho. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. I'm a little, I'm a little blue. I don't wanna think about birthdays. Not a, meh, enough. Enough about the birthday bullshit, okay? I'm just getting quick gas here, not a lot. Just enough to get me by until I can go get gas at my work because it's a hell of a lot cheaper. Isn't that crazy? It is definitely a thing about the neighborhood you're in, how much your gas can cost you. I remember I was dating a guy. This was back in... Uh, hold on, hold on, bitches, so hold on! There we go. Ah, and I always lock my door right when I get in. That's an L.A. thing. Back in the 90s in L.A., carjackings happened all the time, and most of the time people were being carjacked because they had their fucking doors unlocked and the person would run up and yank them out. So you going to have to fight to get me out. Yeah, yeah, yeah! Mm. Yeah, that's still really hot. Oh, my coffee. So, anywho, I dated a guy who, back in the 90s, he was probably like, I was, how old was I? 27? And he was like 23, so he was four years younger than me. And that's not a lot, but when you're used to, I always dated guys that were older than me. Uh even in my late teens, early 20s, I was that girl. Not because I wanted a daddy or anything. I just was chill and didn't want to deal with like stupid, you know, boy bullshit. Yeah, because I'm sorry, but guys in their early 20s ugh, drove me absolutely insane. And uh, the one time I did date like a 23 year old in my 30s Ugh. he was hot and he was mm, he was good in bed but jesus christ he did stupid shit and i couldn't even get angry at him because he was 23 it's what you do at 23 but anywho the guy that i dated when i was 27 he was 23 he was from uh switzerland switzerland yes switzerland Basel, actually. And his family had, let's just say, shit tons of money. I didn't even realize how well off they really were. I mean, I knew they did okay because he lived in Beverly Hills and had like this penthouse apartment. Um, I mean, not like the most bougie penthouse apartment, but it was still a penthouse apartment in Beverly Hills. Uh, his mom used to come out from Switzerland a lot to uh, visit, so that's why he needed the big place. Or when she came out, she had her own room. Blah, 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 whatever. No big deal. But I went to Switzerland, and uh, the grandfather, who basically established, <laughs> established all this wealth, um, 
as an art deal, he had like befriended uh, Marc Chagall and Picasso. Yeah, yeah, no shit. When he was younger, he was also a Holocaust survivor. Uh, but how he kind of started making his money was he dated this chick who owned an art gallery and that's how he met Chagall and Picasso and he started I guess making money through his dealing art or something and then became an architect and then opened uh, up a a, a, a architectural firm which at the time when I went over there in the when was it probably mid to late 90s probably 97 96 97 so uh his architectural firm was the biggest architectural firm in Basel Switzerland and yeah uh they have money let's just say that I, I I'm sure by now his grandfather has passed uh, and he probably inherited a shit ton of money. But anywho, this is about pumping gas. So you're like, where's this all going? He uh, had a Jeep Cherokee. A, he didn't know how to drive until he came over to America to go to USC's film school. So he had take drive, driving lessons and everything like that and got his license. He wasn't a bad driver just was whatever he used to drive me crazy when he would be on the freeway he was kind of one of those that couldn't like center the freaking car he was always so paranoid about somebody being beside him and so the car was always so over to the right like right at the line so you always felt like if you were on the freeway and there were lanes beside you that somebody was gonna sideswipe you or you're gonna sideswipe them so ugh. anywho back to the gas he uh, had a Jeep Cherokee and some he had that and then he also had like a Ford something um, I don't know what the fuck it was. It was like a little sporty sedan. Like he needed two fucking cars, but he had two cars because, you know, that's what they do for them. And I guess if his mom came in town, she could use the car or whatever. But, you know, which was shocking to me. At least he wasn't buying Mercedes like they had in Switzerland because, uh, yeah. And I'm sure his grandfather was like, fuck you. Oh, and here's the best thing. This is how privileged he was. You know who helped him learn how to drive? He was staying at, oh God, what the fuck is the name of the hotel? It's the hotel that's in Pretty Women, Pretty Woman, in Beverly Hills. Oh, fuck, on Wilshire, not Wilshire, yeah, on Wilshire Boulevard, right? Yeah, yeah, I think it was. Um, but it's that hotel he was staying at. I want to say the Beverly Hills, Be no, the Beverly Hills Hotel's on Sunset, shit. Uh, anyways, if somebody can tell me the name of that hotel, I can't remember. But he was staying at that hotel, and the concierge helped him learn how to drive. The concierge, when he would get off work, would take him to a parking lot and teach him how to drive. And he, of course, would pay the concierge of this, oh, fuck, what's the name of the hotel? It's going to drive me absolutely crazy. I can't remember. But anyways, yeah, he lived there before they got the apartment. Um, I don't hate on rich people, trust me. Bra fucking O if you have money. Because that is one stress that you don't got to fucking deal with. Um, I am so aware that rich people have their own issues. But trust me, not having to worry about how you're going to pay your rent or pay your bills or feed yourself is a amazing thing. Um, and this dude that I dated, trust, he had, oh my God, he was one of the most miserable rich people I knew. Ugh. But I will get into that later when I talk about exes. Anyways, this is about pumping gas. So, he would, he didn't know how to pump gas. He didn't know how to fucking pump gas. I am not exaggerating. This motherfucker did not know how to pump gas. So, he would go to, there were like 
oh God, I only think there were one, maybe two gas stations like this in the late 90s, you know, mid to late 90s that were full service. Do any of you even know what full service is? Do you? So full service is where you pull up and an attendant comes out. If you live in New Jersey, this is how you have to get your gas. For some reason, you cannot pump your own gas in New Jersey. Uh, can somebody tell me why? I used to know why. I can't remember because I was just like, what? But so full service is where an attendant comes out and pumps your gas for you. But also, if you get full service, it costs more. The gas costs more. They like add uh, extra, I don't know how much, I want to say like 50 cents to your gas. I don't know. I could be more outrageous. But all I know is when we used to pull up to this gas station in Beverly Hills, even if you didn't get full service, the gas was more expensive than if you, than like a gas station somewhere just in the LA area. The gas was I'm not kidding you. I feel like gas in Beverly Hills is always between 20 to 50 cents more. Because, you know, people just don't want to be inconvenienced and they don't want to go out of their area. So they'll fucking pay it. Ridiculous to me. But anyways, so he is... I'm going to try this again. It's hot. A little better. Um, so he didn't know how to pump gas. When I realized that, I just looked at him and I was like, dude, you need to know how to pump gas. You need to know how to pump gas. You need to know how to check your oil and where to put the oil in if it's low. And you need to know how to change a tire. These are three things you, oh, and let me say, I have a fourth. You need to know how to put coolant in your car. These are things that are, you know, damn easy to do. The Probably the hardest thing to do is change a tire, but it's usually not that damn difficult. Ooh, I really want to get over, but I don't want to cut off a police officer. That would be bad. Cut off a fur, sorry. Um, so, yeah, he didn't know how to do any of that shit. And I just was like, what? And here's the thing with me. I will tell you guys. I'm not saying it's right. But this is just how my brain works. I'm like a man. I want a man to do manly things. I don't want to, you know, I, I, I need that. I need that male energy. I am a strong ass personality. I need that male energy that's a man to balance my ass out plain and simple how I've always been so basically if you're a little bitch I will walk all over you because I'm a bitch I, I am I'm a bitch and so I can't handle there's a difference between somebody being sensitive to things and empathetic than just a whiny little bitch. And I don't like women that are whiny little bitches. I'm not saying how I think is right. I just, I don't know. It's like, and I've gotten so much better in my older age not to pray like on, like, and I mean pray like on, on people that I deem as weak. That, and I never really have but I just, I can't be with a dude who just can't do, you know, kind of typical manly shit. I mean, I can, I got power tools. I can build shit. I, I, yeah, I can change a tire. I, I can put oil in, gas. I've, I've even changed my front brake pads back in the day. That was interesting. I did it, but. Yeah, I'm going to pay people to do that. I'm not interested anymore. So, I just have a big problem with guys that can't do, like, normal, everyday life shit. 
it just makes me go, I, this sounds so sexist. It's like you expect men to be able to do things. Um, and women could be, we could be more, oh, help me. I don't mean that at all. I, I even have issues if, if a woman was like, I don't know how to pump my gas. I'd be like, bitch, what? What? So, uh, I don't know, you know, but that's something I need a dude. And not a dick dude, not an asshole. No, not an asshole. Not somebody who's like, hey, man, you woman. Fuck you. No, it, there's a balance. Like I said, I am difficult. I am not an easy person to date, to be with. I admit it. And um, I only really have one relationship I can reflect back on that I'm like, we were good together. We were really good together. We, yeah, we were really, really good together. We were together three and a half years. He probably is the love of my life and I still love him. Sadly, sometimes when you love somebody, you can't be with them. That wasn't my choice. That was his and I completely respect it, but it is hurtful. And I'm actually going to do a whole video about how I'm in love with my ex. Or I love my ex, but you'll see. Maybe I can help people not feel like, you know, you can still love somebody and not feel like your heart is being ripped out and stomped on. It's, um, you know, it's, it's just about growing to be mature. But him and I, we were a good team. I wish he would have been more of a team. He was kind of team him and 75%, which I get it. Trust me, I am the most important person in my life and that's how it should be. But when you're in a relationship, you gotta have a little more balance. I still, maybe like 60, 40, 60 you, 40% relationship. I know people are probably going, what the fuck are you talking about? Well, what I'm talking about is if I'm not fucking happy with myself and I don't take care of myself, trust me, no fucking relationship is going to survive. So it's not about being selfish. It's about just really taking care of yourself. But yeah, him and I were good. I can't ever think of one bad fight we got into. Like just evil fight. I can't think of one. We had arguments, definitely. Uh, but not even a lot of those. No, oh, he's good. He's a good dude. He's a very good dude. I think even now we would be even better because we've both matured and yeah, yeah, yeah. He was my last like get married, have kids dude. And the kids were, uh, but he was my last probably I'm going to marry this person dude. Yeah, he's a good dude. Yeah, oh, I'm getting all melancholy. So anyhow, I know. I appreciate you guys watching. I think I said subscribe earlier. So subscribe. Click the little bell because uh, you'll know when I upload these. I am trying to upload at least my daily rants. Uh, they're just not as polished as the other ones. But especially the car rants, I just upload them from work. And yeah check out my two videos I posted yesterday, especially the one about Mr. Purdy, Mr. Purbo, Mr. Fucking Completely Inappropriate. And what's funny is I had ooh, 13 subscribers. Now I only have 12. So my thinking is he went bye-bye or somebody else went bye-bye, obviously. I'm hoping that he did watch it till the end and you guys should too not because I'm like wanting watch time on my videos it's because this shit's not fucking appropriate all right everybody I am going to log off thank you so much for watching I also have a Facebook snapchat twitter 
and Instagram under the same handle. WTF is over 50. So go ahead and um, like and uh, Instagram's always fun. And Twitter, I'm trying to build up my peoples. I like Twitter. I don't know. I, ha I have to do a fine line with the social media shit. It, it becomes all-consuming, and I don't want this to become all-consuming. I just really enjoy doing this. Even if it doesn't really lead to anything major, it, it's a way for me to express myself and get shit out. So I appreciate you watching. And, uh, yeah. Comment. Let's talk. Let's talk.